Well, let me turn now to, uh, to Paul Thompson for our quick tip of the evening. Paul? Great, thank you, Jim. And uh, just let me get my screen going here. Okay, uh, tonight's quick tip is just a bit of a reminder and most of the uh, advanced modelers will know this, but uh, wire of course comes in several sizes. As you can see, that goes from small to large. And what I wanted to uh, point out to a few of the people that are just starting out or uh, that kind of thing is wire strippers. And you can get them at uh, Home Depot, but you've got to be um, aware of the fact that uh, some are larger than others. And even though they look the same, they're not. And so here's sort of a brief overview. Uh, what you're looking for is the wire gauge. The smaller the number, the larger the wire. So here we go from 10 to 20, as you can see, and that gives you this kind of a whole size. And for modeling work, a lot of times it's advantageous to go from uh, a wire gauge of 22 to 30. And that starts to look like this. And if you're using too big a wire stripper, you're going to be uh, frustrated in not getting all the insulation off. And if you're using one that's too small, then you're going to be cutting into your wire and uh, doing damage to uh, your electrical circuits. So it's just something to bear in mind. Um, all of this stuff is available, I think, at the types of uh, things like Home Depot, et cetera. Just a bit of a quick review. And uh, I hope you all catch on and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you.